Now, if the charges are same, means electron and electron, it's the charge is same. So we can write, uh, if this is the, this formula is valid between the different atoms. If it is in the same atom, electron charge is same. How many electrons are there? Its charge is same. So that's why this equation can be modified like this. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into E square by R square. And this is balanced by mv square by r. What are the things we can cancel here? r and r square get cancelled. Therefore, e square by 4 pi epsilon naught r is equal to mv square. And what is r from this equation? We can write e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into m v square. This equation is very very important. This equation gives the relation between radius of the orbit to the velocity of the electron. Radius of the orbit to the velocity of electron. where r is equal to radius of the orbit, v is equal to velocity of the electron. Now we are going to find out the, its energy and total energy. Now we are going to find out the total energy of the electron. Total energy of the revolving electron. So, total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. What is kinetic energy? The formula is half mv square. We got mv square is equal to e square by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Half mv square is equal to e square by 8 pi epsilon naught r. This is one equation. What about the potential energy? Symbol is U in terms of electricity or atomic structure. It is found that minus E square by 4 pi epsilon naught r. And we can find out the electrostatic potential in electrostatics. We got 1 by 4 pi epsilon and q square by r like that. So, total energy is equal to k plus u e square by 8 pi epsilon naught r minus e square by 4 pi epsilon naught r. So, if you took a square by r or e square by pi epsilon naught r as common, we will get 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4. minus 1 by 4. So, where 8 is the LCM, so 1 minus 2 minus 1 by 8. So, minus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught r is the answer. See, total energy is equal to minus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught r. Kinetic energy is equal to plus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught r. So, what we can understand from these expressions, see this one, this is total equation. Let us write this one as equation 2 or 3, no problem. So, we can write the total energy of the revolving electron in any atomic structure is equal to negative gradient of the kinetic energy. Total energy. is equal to negative gradient of Ke. This is the conclusion about the total energy of the revolving electron. Now we will see one problem which is related to the radius of the orbits and its velocity. 
the problem is like this it is found experimentally that 13.6 electron volts ev means electron volts energy is required to separate a hydrogen atom into a proton and an electron means hydrogen atom if you want to split that hydrogen atom into proton and electron we need this much of energy okay compute the orbital radius r and the velocity of electron v in a hydrogen atom hydrogen is split into two subatomic particles so energy is a negative gradient so energy is equal to minus 13.6 ev ev means one electron volt one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules therefore we are converting the energy into joules minus 13.6 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules the answer is minus 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power of minus 18 joules this is energy so if this is the energy compute the orbital radius small r and the velocity of the electron in a hydrogen atom so what is the equation for the total energy minus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught r we should find out r so therefore r is equal to minus e square by 8 pi epsilon naught into energy total energy we can write it as te total energy where a is equal to a is equal to charge of electron minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 whole square because it is e square into 1 by 8 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power 9 1 by 8 pi epsilon naught we can write 9 into 10 to the power of 9 by 2 therefore 9 into 10 to the power of 9 by 2 into what is the energy minus 2.2 into 10 to the power of minus 18 joules now what will be the radius if you do the calculation will get the answer like this if you substitute all the values and do the calculation you will get 5.3 into 10 to the power of minus 11 meters this is said to be radius radius of the orbiting electron from the center of the nucleus now our next job is to find out the velocity of the electron in a hydrogen atom now we are going to find out the velocity we know that v square is equal to e square by 4 pi epsilon naught mr so v is equal to under root e square by 4 pi epsilon naught mr the equation transforms like this v is equal to e by under root 4 pi epsilon naught mr e is charge m is mass of the electron e is charge of electron m is mass of the electron how much 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg radius is equal to 5.3 into 10 to the power of minus 11 meters just before this one we have found after substituting all in values we will get 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power of 6 meters per second so with this much speed an orbital is an electron is revolving in the orbital in hydrogen atom now we are going to see the atomic spectra What is the meaning of atomic spectra? In the introduction of the atomic structure, we studied that many particles or many gaseous atoms, many solid particles are giving some wavelength orders. It is such like this. 
radiation is possible with respect to the transition of electrons within the atomic energy levels so how this radiation is possible we are going to see now in general in light chapter in optics chapter we can say in electromagnetic waves chapter spectrum means order of the colors white light if a white light it passes through an abstract like a glass prism just behind the glass prism if you place it a screen like this white light splits into seven colors we know that that is a vibjor and we are saying that as a spectrum so vibjor is nothing but the order of seven different or seven constituent colors which are present in the white light such like that this is the spectrum of light spectrum of light but our title is not the spectrum of light spectrum of atom or atomic spectra spectrum means single order spectra means more than single more than one so what is the meaning of spectrum we have seen that different wavelengths are ordered in a row of increasing or in the order of increasing such like that atoms atoms or molecules of the gaseous particles or gaseous molecules or any solid particles are traveling through different electric fields there may be a possibility for the absorption of the energy that means those particles which are already charged when they are passing through the different electric fields they will absorb the energy from that electric field or they may lose the energy with respect to the applied field the loss of the energy or absorption of the energy will be released out of the object in a form of a wavelength or in a wave we are saying it as a radiation once it is absorbed the energy the wavelength order will be absorbed wavelength and the spectrum released by these absorbed wavelengths are called absorption spectrum absorption spectrum what is the meaning of absorption spectrum any solid particle atoms or gaseous atoms or gaseous molecules passing through electric fields they will gain the energy or lose the energy the gain or loss is due to the transition of electrons within the energy levels next we are going to see that the gain or loss released in a form of a radiation and that radiation will be associated with a color that is nothing but the wave so the order of these wavelengths sometimes we will get only one line or sometimes we will get different wavelength lines so these spectrums are called absorption spectrum because electron absorbed the energy so this absorbed spectrum is appeared like a bright bands or bright colored bands on the dark background bright band on dark background in place of solid particles or gaseous particles if we pass a white light through the different electric fields white lights separated separates so it emits the wavelength so this type of wavelengths are called emission wave emitted wavelengths the spectrum which is formed due to the emitted wavelength is called emission spectrum if white light passed through different ef ef means electric field there is a possibility for the emission of the wavelengths so this wavelength order is called emission spectrum what is the meaning of emission spectrum okay in absorption spectrum we have seen bright bands on dark background but emission spectrum exactly reverse we will see the dark bands on bright background means always the bands which are appeared in the emission spectrum are dark in color completely black because 
the total energy is emitted out completely there will be no energy is it right so that's why exactly ulta dark bands on bright background that's why there are two different types of spectra emission absorption now we are going to see the energy levels due to, with respect to these uh, spectra now we will see the spectral series hydrogen is the simplest atom first of all is a simplest atom what is the meaning of the simplest atom okay its atomic number is 1 most unstable gas so what i am saying is in spectral series if you observe the different wavelengths that are emitted by the hydrogen atom so we can see some gaps between the spectral orders after that some gap then you can observe the lines like this after that some gap again like this so this is a spectral line an order of spectral lines some gap existed after the gap one more set of spectral lines next gap one more set because of this gap we can say that this is one spectral series this is another spectral series this is another spectral series so these are all said to be spectral series this concept discovered by a scientist called Balmer. he found one empirical formula to find out the wavelengths which are associated due to the excitation or de-excitation of electrons within the energy levels what is that empirical formula 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square or we can write 1 by n square minus 1 by 1 square 1 by 2 square 1 by 3 square it's like that what is the use of this empirical formula and what are those spectral series we can find we are going to observe now if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus